There are 14,000 species of mushrooms, 3,000 of which are edible. A select few of these mushrooms mimic meat through taste, texture, appearance, or smell. I'll be covering eight of these wild mushrooms that strangely mimic meat. Number one, lobster mushrooms are a fungus that develops into this reddish orange lobster tail. It isn't technically a mushroom, it is an edible mold, Hypomyces lactiflorum, that transforms into a meaty lobster shape. Lobster mushrooms have a seafood smell and taste like crabs or lobster. I tend to find these mushrooms going on the forest floor from July to early October. They require very specific conditions to flourish. They often emerge in debris because of their concave structure that allows soil to accumulate in the center. This can make them mushroom is very difficult to clean, so make sure you take your time washing them off. When the mushrooms are healthy, they are firm to the touch. Discard any pieces that are soft or falling apart. I like to cook the mushrooms in a lot of butter and soften them up. I substitute the mushrooms in traditional seafood recipes like lobster rolls, crab cakes, and lobster mac and cheese. Number two, beefsteak fungus, Fistulina hapatica. Beefsteak fungus is a unique shelf mushroom that looks similar to raw meat. They also have an inner texture that looks similar to skirt steak, but they have a more of a citrus-like acidic taste. Beefsteak fungus's color can range from pink to blood red. Beefsteak mushrooms are often sticky and gelatinous, and when you squeeze them, it can ooze a dull red juice. I usually find this mushroom in mid to late summer in North America. Beefsteak fungus has an acidic taste with a sour citrus-like flavor. Unlike most wild mushroom species, beefsteak fungus is one of the few wild edible mushrooms that can be eaten raw. I definitely prefer it cooked though, especially with bacon. The mushroom doesn't exactly taste like meat, but is spongy and can absorb all the flavors it's cooked with. Number three, chicken of the woods. This wild edible is one of the most popular wild mushrooms for its ability to mimic meat. It is known as chicken of the woods because of how similar it tastes to chicken. This mushroom is one of the foolproof for it and is one of the easiest mushrooms to identify in the wild. The standard chicken of the woods, Latiporus sulfaris, is bright orange on the top and has small yellow pores on the underside. Chicken of the Woods is a thick shelf mushroom with overlapping brackets. The common variety grows on hardwood trees and logs, especially oak. White poured sulfur shelf, Latiporus cincinnatus, is another species of chicken of the woods. The underside of this mushroom is white in color rather than yellow, and the mushroom is a bit more peach colored on the top. This species tends to grow at the base of trees and stumps in a rosette shape. All varieties of chicken of the woods taste delicious, but they can be a bit dry, so make sure to add butter or sauce to keep them moist and flavorful. One potential lookalike for chicken of the woods is Halopolis crocus. This bright orange blob forms on hardwood trees and looks similar to young chicken of the woods. The edibility of this mushroom is unknown, potentially very poisonous. Number four, black staining polypore. These giant mushroom clusters can be made into a really good pulled pork sandwich. These mushrooms are found in late summer and fall, growing around hardwood trees and stumps. The mushroom is very velvety to the touch and has a loose wavy structure that forms a rosette shape. Black stained polypore is often mistaken with matake from a distance. The easiest way to identify this mushroom is to see if the mushroom bruises brownish black when cut. This mushroom has a reputation for being tough and chewy, but the new growth of this mushroom is more soft and tender. When preparing this mushroom, I pull apart the stringy tender parts like pulled pork. Then I cook them with onions and barbecue sauce. This creates a convincing pulled pork recipe, although it's very chewy. It will give your jaws a good workout. Number five, beef bouillon bolete. This fungus stains blue and smells like beef stew. It is called beef bouillon bolete or two colored bolete. This mushroom has a red and yellow color palette and spongy pores. This mushroom also turns blue whenever it's cut or bruised. This can be a tricky mushroom to identify and isn't recommended for beginners. If you are able to correctly ID this fungi, it is a delicious mushroom with a beef flavor. Number six, resinous polypore. This meaty mushroom is sometimes referred to as steak of the woods. These mushrooms produce droplets of red liquid and have a slightly sweet smell. They appear on hardwood logs and trees in the fall. At an early stage of development, you can trim off the white new growth. When you cook this section of the mushroom, it will have a pleasant melt in your mouth texture. This mushroom pairs well with steak and can be quite savory. As the mushroom becomes mature, it is too woody to be enjoyable. Number seven, 
Lion's mane, Heresium aranesius, is a wild mushroom that is texture similar to crab meat. It is an edible and medicinal mushroom that grows on hardwood trees and has an affinity for oak and beech. In its early stages, lion's mane resembles a marshmallow growing on the side of a tree. As it matures, its spines will begin to take form. The spines look like icicles dripping down from the mushroom. This mushroom usually fruits in the late summer and fall, but it can also be found fruiting in the winter and spring. Lion's mane is often considered a choice edible mushroom. They have a crab-like texture with a slight mushroom taste. I've made lion's mane as a burger added them to pizza, and made stir fries with them. Number eight, shrimp of the woods. These white nuggets on the forest floor resemble popcorn shrimp. They are similar to lobster mushrooms because they parasitize and transform other fungi. They are a parasite of honey mushrooms and transform them into these white fungi. These mushrooms have a shrimp-like texture with a slight mushroom taste. You can find these mushrooms growing in the late summer and fall near honey mushroom patches. 